Hey guys, Cooking with Carl here. Now, Carl says that you can make your very own peanut butter jelly sandwich. If you ever wanted to learn how, now's your chance. Now, we make sure we get two separate utensils because someone in your household could have a peanut allergy or a jelly allergy. And if you are allergic to one or more falling, please do not try this at home. Peanuts, jelly, gluten, please do not try this at home. We are not liable for reactions. Anywho, back to the show. Now, all you gotta do is get two pieces of bread. We are not toasting them. We are not getting that advanced, alright? We're, we're just having you learn the basics so you can perfect it. You know, perfect your peanut butter jelly sandwich. First, you wanna, you start with the peanut butter. Because with the jelly, you gotta make sure that jelly's on the bottom. Because the jelly gets everywhere. And look at that. That's, you, you try to keep a premises, a diameter on here. You, 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 don't, want, you don't want to overwhelm yourself with, with, see, there you go. So you don't spill it on the countertop. Now, now we get some jelly. I, I like using the spoon because that's the messiest part. A knife doesn't work as well, trust me. I went down that road. Now, just laver that on there. La, make sure it's in the middle. And make sure you do not put the jelly top on the top because that will, ri that will risk you spilling it. And then just put it together. There we go. Look at this. Mmm. Oh, um, yeah. Tune in next week to learn how to make a bloody and cheese sandwich. I might even show you how to make a toasted peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I think you guys might be ready, but you gotta work on your game. You gotta practice at home. Make sure you practice. And I'll see you guys in the next one. This has been Cooking with Chef Carl.